everybody welcome back to my channel hope everybody's having a great day today hope everything's going your way today today i'm coming to you guys with an eye look yes today i'm coming to you with an eye look using a palette by jacob and eli yes an independent brand called jacob and eli so, if you want to see how the palette performs, once I make up my mind which one I'm going to use, then just keep okay, on Okay, everybody, let's get started with this look, though. All right, guys, so today I'm going to be doing a look using the Candy Peaches palette by Jacob and Eli. This is a company I never heard of before. Now, I came to know about this palette is I went to my mom's, okay? to get my birthday present and she wanted some advice about some palettes she had and she pulled this one out and I was like, um, Ma, oh my goodness, Ma, those colors are so beautiful. And she was like, you like the palette for real? She hadn't even used it, it was brand spanking new. I said, yes, I do. She said, happy birthday, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've actually used this palette before. I actually did this look here. Yeah, nice palette. And this palette reminds me a lot of the Carity palette. Um, I think it's called the Jess Peachy palette. Yeah, it reminds me of that, except it has some shades that the Carity palette does not. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, there's nothing wrong with this palette, right? So I was so impressed with this palette that I got a second one of their palettes on Amazon, okay? Called the Hidden Gems palette. And this gives you a more smoky look, guys. But it's a beautiful palette. It's got that pop of pink right there. And I mean, these are both very wearable, very wearable palettes. So, so I've been swaying back and forth with which one of these two palettes to use, okay? And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead on and try the Hen Gems palette, okay? I did some swatching in this palette. Yeah, I accidentally hit one of the colors and yeah, it, it crumbled up all over the place. But I've never actually use this palette yet. So I'm going to use this one today. And the palettes, they do have names, okay? By this being the Hidden Gems palette, all of these colors are actually named after, yeah, gems, okay? Well, let's see. And I don't know what look I'm going to do, okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Mm, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. So let's get started with this look though. Okay, enough talking, Lily. Let's get started with the look. Okay, guys, so first I'm gonna start with this color here. It's called Amber. I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my transition shade. And no, the palette does not have a mirror, but then a lot of these Andy brands, like I said before, do not have mirrors. And plus, online, on Amazon, this palette was like $11.72, so I'm, I'm okay with it not having a mirror. Ooh. Okay, the pigmentation is on point, guys. Okay. I I I think I I think I think I should have uh I think I should have went in with a uh, light hand. But that's alright though. I am impressed so far with this pally. Okay, guys, so far. So good. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna go in with this color Garnet here. And I'm gonna go directly underneath the transition shade. Okay, and I'm using my M441 brush for this. The first shade I did, I just used the off name blending brush that I got off of Amazon. So far, guys, I am impressed with these shadows. There's no skipping. It's blending smoothly. And yes, the pigmentation is there. Okay, guys, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm just really loving this shadow right now, okay? Okay, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead on and go in with Tans tonight. And I'm going to focus that strictly on the crease. And I'm just using my mini camouflage brush from um, Crown Brushes. Ooh! 
come through Tanzanite, come through. It's like a real deep, deep purple. And I actually like that, guys, because yeah, me and black are not friends like that, okay? So yeah, when I can get a dark, deep look with something other than the black, I'm here for it. And then just taking the brush I use for Garnet, I'm just gonna blend out the harsh line. Okay guys, and now for the part I love the most, the lead. Guys, there's so many pretty shades, I just don't know where to start. <sighs> okay guys, first things first though, okay? I'm going to go ahead on and prep my lid. Okay guys, so I put a little bit of lid on my lid, my lit glitter base, okay? And I think I'm going to start with, I'm gonna start with this color opal here, okay? And I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my lid. Okay, guys, that's more of a satin. I wasn't going for a satin. I think I want more of a shimmer. I'm going to take this color amethyst here. And I'm going to go on top of that, okay? Okay, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and go on in with this color Paradox. And I'm going to put that on the outside part of my lid. Okay guys, so I think I want a little dimension on the outer V. So I'm gonna take this color Onyx here. It's like a nice dark brownish black color. And I'm gonna put that on my outer V. Okay guys, so um, yeah. Your girl had a little minor, somewhat major malfunction. Let me let you all know now that um, this palette it does not mix well with my lit glitter base, okay? It was cracking all over the place, so I actually had to take everything off my lid and redo it over. Instead, I used my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color white, um, and then it went over it much more smoothly. So um, that being said, let me go ahead and do the other eye right quick. Okay, guys, I'm going to go on ahead, pop on some lashes, do the rest of my face off camera, and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay, everybody, I went on ahead, put on my lashes, did the rest of my face off camera. Um, I went on ahead and smoked out the bottom of my eyes. Just made the bottom match the top like I always do, nothing special. But I do want to go ahead and do my highlight with you guys um, for my eyes. So I'm going into the Hand Gems palette, okay? I think for the highlight shade, I'm going to use this color Sterling here. I'm going to pop that in my inner corner right quick. See what I do, what I do, what I do. Guys, I'm going to be so glad when we get out of the world of indie brands that don't put mirrors in their palettes. Okay, but I digress, okay? And guys, then I'm going to go ahead and take this color Zircon here. And I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Zircon, I see you. I see you. And I feel like I wanna pop some of that on my inner tear duct. Okay, guys, I went on ahead, popped on some lip gloss, and here's my finished eye look. I don't have to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. I like how this turned out. Yes, guys, so this is Jim's palette, okay? I'm not mad at Jacob or Eli, okay? Guys, this palette is everything. For $11, you can't beat it. No, mm -mm, you can't beat it. It performs just like a Morphe palette. It performs just like a Carity palette. I will put it right, right, right along those lines. 
everything down for a fraction of the price. Um, I will say I did have a little hiccup in the beginning when I used my lit liquid glitter base. Yeah, they, yeah, these shadows that they, they, they're not compatible with that. They, no, no, mm -mm, they're not compatible with that. I did struggle in the beginning when I had to take the shadow off of my lid and start over, but that was not because of the palette. It was because of how my lit glitter base, the liquid, performed with the consistency of the shadows. That's it. Um, when I went on ahead and started all over and just used concealer to, you know, kind of cut my lid a little bit, it worked out much better. Same thing with the Candy Peaches palette. When I used my NYX glitter glue with that one, it went on ahead and it performed just fine. It just, it's just something about liquid. Mm -mm, yeah, mm -mm. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Don't do it. But other than that, mm -mm, yeah, I highly recommend their palettes, guys. Um, they actually have three palettes. I think the third one they have is like a worn palette. Um, but yeah, I have so many worn palettes, okay, that I haven't even used yet. So I wasn't going to get another worn palette, guys. But I will say, if you do get the opportunity, get your hands on those palettes. Like I said, they're like $11.72. Oh, uh, Amazon. I ordered mine with Prime Ship, and then I got it like two days later, yeah. And it's well worth it, guys. I'm telling you, it's worth every $11.72 worth. For real. So, more looks to come, guys. I have so many independent brand palettes um, that I need to show you guys. I'm trying to get more consistent in my filming, as you see. I, I, I'm moving right along. You know, I'm moving right along. Hopefully, I can get back to the old Lily that, you know, films two, three, sometimes four times a week. TBD. TBD. Hopefully, this video was helpful, guys. Hopefully, it'll help you make a decision on whether you think the Jacobi Eli palettes are for you or not. As for me, yeah. I'm glad my mother put me on. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mother knows best. For real. Well, I wish I could chat with you guys, but yeah. I've been at this video for about an hour and a half now. Yeah. It's about that time for March Madness. Yeah. I got to watch a couple more games this weekend so I can get my bracket right. I got to get up out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It only gets greater later, guys. It only gets greater later. So until next time, guys, stay real, stay positive, stay up, and damn it, you better watch, fight, and pray. Slow-mo.